Hey Aquarius, welcome. I hope you guys are doing well. Uh, happy November Aquarius. So Aquarius, um, I hope you guys had a great Halloween. I hope everybody is safe and sound. Uh, we are going to be doing uh, who or what is coming towards you for the beginning of November uh, 2021. So I'm going to get you some oracle cards. We'll get a few tarot cards and I will also get you orphan or I'm sorry, regeneration, unfinished symphony, soulmates is what I just saw. Um, but I'm going to get you some cards here from the tarot and I will finish out with some uh, guidance messages from the angels. Uh, remember, like, share, subscribe for me, Aquarius. I hope I've been saying Aquarius because I've got Taurus on the brain for some reason. Um, but Aquarius, I um, appreciate all your love and your light. I'm sending it back to you. You guys are amazing and I appreciate you. So remember that um, this is for the collective Aquarius out there. Uh, so take what resonates, leave the rest behind. And with that, we're going to go ahead and get your cards going. All right, Aquarius. So spirits, guides, angels, what messages do you have for my lovely Aquarius? Uh, who is coming or what is coming towards them for November 2021? These first couple weeks in November. Okay. New life. Who or what? What is happening? What's coming towards them? For November 2021. Spirits, guides, angels. Happy, happy, happy. New life. Serendipity. Happy, happy, happy. Truth be told. So some truth is coming out. Aquarius. Um... Angels, other messages, some peace. Hmm. What else? One more. Loyal heart. Okay. Up oh, at the bottom of the deck, I have regeneration again. Okay. So there's some sort of regeneration taking place for you or for someone. There's a change in the wind. Um, for you or for someone around you, I keep saying for someone around you, because I keep hearing that by the way. So, um, serendipity here is, you know, uh, something familiar, something like right place, right time, um, where someone met the right place, the right time. Um, someone met and it was a, a, like an odd place to meet someone. Um, but I, I feel like, you know, they, that this was really happy there. This was a really happy situation. It, it, it made, I, I feel like this is a relationship because of the loyal heart here. So, um, it made uh, someone very, very happy. Um, they found someone that was loyal to them. They, they, um, they had peace with this person. Um, and I'm feeling this too, because of the regeneration. And I just saw, you know, the Ace of Wands. So new beginning for someone. All right, new life. Please clarify new life for me for Aquarius. What is that? Uh, what is happening this month for Aquarius? Who's coming towards them? What is coming towards them? So there's some sort of release happening. Endings that lead to new beginnings. The need to release situations or people that hold you back. Spiritual transformation. So either you, Aquarius, or someone around you is releasing a situation. They are. There's some truth that is coming out. Mm. So for some of you, a group of you, Aquarius, I feel like, um, this, th this was, a 
a past situation where, you know, with the serendipity card, like this could be someone from your past, someone around you from their past. I'm not really sure. Um, yeah, again, walking away. Eight of Cups. Literally, someone is walking away. Someone that they knew from their childhood is what I'm hearing past. Um, they thought that they were going to be really happy here. And for some reason, there's a truth that has come out in the Truth Be Told card. See, this card is that... The owl is standing on a mask, so this is someone hiding behind a mask, someone who's not truthful, someone who's been dishonest, lying, hiding things, and now the window's open. Um, you know, the, that little owl, is that an owl? Yes. Um, who's all about wisdom, has let it all out. Truth is out. Uh, someone's hearing the truth about something. Someone's finding out about something. Um, so, uh, someone is uh, finding out. Oh, this feels deep. Someone's finding out some secrets about someone um, that they were involved with. Or someone, it's someone, either you, Aquarius, you can you know, um, flip it to the other side. If there, if this is another person, if this is a person that is around you, but there's a truth that's coming out. <sighs> Page of cups. So mm -hmm. this is, um, someone that is, uh, young. Um, there's moody messages regarding relationships. Um, there's, uh, you know, this is a page of cups. So yeah, the cup's overflowing, but this is a, a young person, right? Um, this is someone who's immature, um, younger, and I feel like emotionally immature for some reason. It's like they, this person, um, unfortunately wasn't shown the right way about relationships. So they were treated in a way that they were talked down to a lot. And so they, um, there's insecurities here with this person. And because of that, this person is constantly trying to, um, they're a doer. They, they, they do everything, you know, they'll, they're a giver they'll, for other people. Um, and then they don't, they don't, they don't receive it in return. They don't receive back. And, um, yeah, there's like, there might be a Libra around. This might be about a Libra, uh, with the balance card here, because this in this deck is the, the justice card and about, um, balancing and Libra. This is the card of Libra. So we might be talking about. A Libra, some truths might be coming out about this person. Conflicts with a soulmate. Wow. It's like the Empress, like they're, the Empress was their soulmate, someone, a spiritual connection. Their ego got in the way. There was third parties. So there's something going on here uh, about a third party situation. There was a person who had a loyal heart in the situation. Um, this, uh, there was happiness here at one time. And somehow, I don't know. I feel like there was an interference. There's, there's a queen of wands here. Um, this Queen of Wands controlling person went after some someone's uh, it's it, the stability here. So this Queen of Wands 
Um, there's n like literally for, there's no peace here in a situation. There's no happiness. There's no peace. Page of Wands, um, you know, this is like someone's watching. There's someone watching someone here. Someone is um, has been watching what someone else has been up to or what they've been doing. And there's a truth about this coming out, about the foundation, about stability, about really honestly, put... yeah. That's what I was picking up on. All right. So, um, intentions. So someone's intentions, um, were really, really nasty in the seven of swords. And someone is now realizing the truth about it. So the seven of swords is someone, um, so sneaky doing things behind your back. Um, you know, lies, cheating, stealing. Um, this also is a card of black magic. I don't have the devil card here yet, but I'm not surprised. I wouldn't be surprised if it shows up. Uh, this is the four of swords. It's about taking a break. This is about um, a breakup. This is about, and especially with the seven of swords, some, there's a breakup happening. There's going to be a separation. There's been some sneaky behavior, um, you know, and the truth about this is coming to light and it might have something to do with this queen of wands. So a fire sign or someone with heavy fire in their chart. So, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, picking up Aries a lot. Um, the emperor. So yeah, someone's, um, <laughs> someone is going to take charge of a situation. There was some juggling going on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So antenna swords. Oh my gosh. It's a whole lot of backstabbing going on in, in this situation with, with you, Aquarius, either you or someone around you. Um, I don't know how you're involved, but it, this isn't, this is heavy energy. Um, so yeah, there's, there was juggling the, maybe I'm feeling like the emperors found out that the queen of wands has been juggling the emperor, like stuff going on behind their back. Ooh, and the truth is coming out, especially now that I have the five of pentacles, someone being left out in the cold. So there's some serious energy here, um, indications that, you know, you, um, either you Aquarius or someone, you know, is going to be dealing with this in the month of November. Um, some things are going to be coming out into the open. Uh, you know, what's, what's done in the dark always it always makes its way to the light because that's what spirit does spirit's not going to let you get away with it um okay so now i have the the king of wands here so we have uh, we have a, a match we have a, a king and queen the same suit and an emperor so this queen was more than likely cheating on the emperor with the king of wands. Lovely. Um, why do I feel like this is... Yeah, they've been working on... <laughs> I'm not giggling. This is not funny. It's just... So... There's, uh... So much of this going on right now, and I have a feeling it has to do with the retrograde, the eclipse. Uh, we're in the age of Aquarius, so this is when the um, this is when karma plays out. This is when you no longer get to hide from the deeds that you've done. So you better be on the right side of karma. Yeah, see, there's like this cheating. There's seriously a, a cheating factor that's going on. Um, 
there's been magic even being used, uh, I feel, in, in some of this. With all the fives here um, and the magician now with the seven of swords. So there's even been manipulation involved um, in situations here uh, of this relationship. Yeah, and the light's being shown on all of it. It's like someone's, I think a bunch of people are getting out ousted. Like, it's no longer going to be hidden, right? Justice. This is no longer going to be hidden in the dark. This is coming out. I'm sorry, shit's getting real now. Um, You don't get, you know, like whoever this is, is like... Um, you don't get to do this to people and get away with it. You know, um, what's done in the dark, the sun always shines a light on it. You don't get to hide from it. And I feel like that's what's happening right now is that there's a lot of truths being told right now. There's a lot of stuff that's coming out. People are finding out about things that they're not really happy about. There's been betrayals um, in love. There's been uh, manipulation with people using negative energy against other people. Um, and it's starting to come out. It's, um, it's definitely starting to uh, show itself. So, you know, whoever this is, I wouldn't want to be this, this person. Yeah, again here, I just grab from my tea leaf and it's the frying pan, which is troubles and accusations. So there's accusations being made. It's, it's, um, some, some, I'm sorry, but some shit is going down and you need to protect yourself, Aquarius, um, or, you know, someone needs to protect themselves, whoever this applies to. Um, for you and your story, but I feel a number of you are going through this um, Someone needs to be paying attention to their work um, There's there's something about two females a deep friendship with someone of the same sex um, Someone working against you behind your back so see what I'm saying like there's been People playing around with negative energy, darkness, and uh, it's uh, all coming to light. I feel, huh? I feel like the emperor is can, is finding out about about this uh, truth. So take that how it resonates for you, Aquarius. For some reason, I feel as though this emperor is not the Aquarius energy. It's a different energy. Same with the balance here. I don't feel that that either. I feel like I feel like there's a, a different energy altogether here involved with this, and it's all about third parties, and it is about manipulation and people playing with um, with darkness. Especially when I have the Moon card come out with all of these other cards, um, that all of these cards accompanied with this card are, are completely about um, manipulation. Um, and, uh, you know, maybe people even doing candle work, um, especially what I just heard was Halloween. Someone was at it again, thinking that they're, it's more powerful and they're, you know, playing with candle magic to try to disrupt something or, um, to stop something from happening. And I, it's not going to work. Um. It's just not going to work because I do believe that uh, the other parties involved in here are very, very protected. Um, I'm sensing divine counterparts here. So this is some heavy stuff coming coming up. If you're not already dealing with it, Aquarius, this is, or it's someone around you. It could be just someone close to you. Um, but, uh, this is, uh, what you might be going through here coming up in the next, uh, week or so. I'm going to get you guys some last messages from the angels and some guidance as to how you can handle this, or, you know, what to do. Cut the cords. So, um, okay. So 
you know, stop doing whatever it is that's going on. Cut the cords, uh, uh, mind your own business, forgiveness and understanding. Um, someone's going to have to forgive someone. There's some inner child healing that needs to take place here. It's, it's like whoever's playing with the darkness is doing it because they're deeply wounded. Um, whoever's interfering with other people, with their lives, their, their inner child has really been hurt. So I send out prayers for, for whoever is, you know, feeling this way and going, going through this composure, which is, you know, meditation, um, goes along with the inner child healing you know there is an opportunity for change but you know i feel like the the inner child wounds need to be they need to be um dealt with first and signs and reminders it's like someone seeing signs and reminders someone i'm telling you there's a major truth that is coming out uh compassion and I don't think, I don't know, like I'm, I'm getting the sense that someone's in angelic protection. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's like someone's using negativity to try to block something and it's not working. It's not going to work. It can't be stopped because it's, it's a divine, um, it's divinely guided, like the universe spirit, uh, the angels, they're all putting blocks up and not allowing um, whatever manipulation is going on, whatever sneaky behavior, um, the lies, the, the dishonesties. Um, they, they are, they're putting their foot down now. So whatever has been going on will no longer be going on. So that's what I have for you, Aquarius. I know this is kind of deep. Um, I wish you guys all the best, sending you lots of love and light and sending prayers your way for you and your loved ones. Um, I look forward to seeing you guys on the next one, Aquarius. Have a wonderful uh, first part of November. Thank you. Bye.